Welcome to this special edition of Belmont Journal. And it is a special edition because we have with us a special guest. And I'd like to welcome Ellen Gittleman from the Belmont World Film and the Belmont Family Film Festival here to Belmont Journal. Belmont World Film Family Festival. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. That's easy for you to say. Right, right. <laughs> but really what we're here to talk about is the annual Family Film Festival. Right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to take place in January, so it's coming right up. It may even be January by the time you see this, so it's, uh, let's, we want to tell people about the films this year, right? Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. And which, which uh, how many times have you done this? How many years have you been doing this? This is our Sweet 16. Wow. Yes, and our 16th year. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it getting easier? Or more um, interesting yeah, or more, yeah, in yeah. certain respects it is, um, because as we've gotten more known, people want to be involved with us, so in certain ways uh, it is easier, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and this year, um, n not unlike other years, but you're, the films are being shown all over the area here, in the region, Arlington, Belmont. Cambridge, Belmont, is that yeah. right? ABC. Okay. Yeah. What theaters will they be at? Just. The Regent Theater know. in Arlington okay. and the Studio Cine Cinema in Belmont and the Regent Theater in, um, I'm sorry, the Brattle Theater in Cambridge. Okay, so in the same general area, not too hard to get to, um, and uh, whether you're in Belmont or whether you're seeing this and you're watching us in Cambridge or Arlington or wherever you happen to be watching Belmont Journal, uh, think about that, that area. So let's start off with Opening night is Friday, January 18th, and the first film, the kickoff film, is called what? It's, it's not really a film. It's a concert film. It's called Right in the Eye, or uh, En Plein dans l'œil in French, mm -hmm. and it's a compilation of the films of George Méliès, who mm -hmm. many people consider the father of cinema and the father of special effects, and uh, it will be accompanied by live score, uh, live because the films are silent. Live music, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be live music. So I, I, I saw this film when I was a kid. I mean, anybody that studied film saw the Georges Méliès films, and right. they're, they're wild. Right. So they're really ahead of their time. And I know that uh, the film Hugo was partly inspired by Georges Méliès. Right. So it was about. This right. is a real special, special deal. Oh, right? it's a very special yeah. thing. And there is a, actually for those who are not that familiar with. Him, there was a short documentary about oh, George okay. Melies at the beginning. Okay. And he is he is the confirmed father of special effects. He was doing yeah. things that now you can do in a, in a minute, but he was doing mm -hmm. things like taking heads off, yeah. off of bodies and putting them elsewhere. So, uh. um, Well, let's take a look at a little bit of that film, uh, Right in the Eye by George Melies. We'll be right back. Take a look. And we're back here uh, with the special edition of Belmont Journal. We're covering the Belmont World Film Family Film Festival. How do you say that again? <laughs> I say it three times fast. Uh, Belmont World Film Family Festival. Family Festival, okay. And now we're going to Saturday, January 19th, the films that are coming up. There's a couple of special programs. Uh, you want to tell us about it? First, there's What's new from Weston Studio, Wood, Weston Wood Studio? Right. What are those? That's well, so those, Weston Wood Studios is uh, the, the 
filmmaking arm of Scholastic Books, okay. and they make animated versions of some of their best children's books, and sometimes they, they actually do animated versions of books that have been published by other houses. So, And there's one film that you like, uh, Nanette's yeah. Baguette right, by Mo Willems. Mo, Mo Willems. And uh -huh. it's never been seen before. Where I think we're so the it's first. It's a premiere. Of, it's a premiere. Okay. I think we're the first to show it. And it's very funny because it's all in rhyme. And it's so like Nanette, uh, Nanette's Baguette is wet. And she is upset. And it's so okay. funny. And it's a lot of uh, Mo Willems always is, performs, always voices some character. And he, is, of course, it's his usual funny and silly self in it. So, so it's, it's so hysterical. In the spirit of being the Family Film Festival, that's one you'll want to see. Right, it's for very young children, for three ages, okay. as young as three and maybe topping out at eight. But I like them too. I think uh, I can fun. tell. They're yeah. fun, yeah. Uh, I want to see something called, uh, yeah. I like the idea of Nanette's Baguette. That sounds, that sounds yeah. pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So that's 1030 on Saturday morning. And then, Around noontime is Tito and the Birds. This, this is very exciting, and we're pleased that the Consulate General of Brazil in Boston, where there are a lot of Brazilian people, okay. are helping us co-present this film because it is one of the films being considered for the Oscar for Best Animated Film. Oh, it film. is? Yeah, okay. it's not, it hasn't been narrowed down yet, but it mm -hmm. is definitely... It's in consideration. Oh, yes, right. and there have okay. been many articles about it, um, that it is probably, it may... Of course, there's a lot of competition this year, but right. a lot of people are sort of figuring that it might, it could win a slot at least as a nominee. Okay, so yeah. for your consideration, uh, it's a film directed by Gabriel Bitar, Andre Catauto, and Gustavo Steinberg. Take a look at a preview of Tito and the Birds. Quando eu era pequeno, meu pai me falou que o medo tinha virado contagioso. Como se fosse uma doença. Essa é a história de como o medo contaminou o mundo inteiro. Bem-vindos ao Jardim Redondo. Vocês nunca terão medo outra vez. Ainda não sabemos de onde vem a epidemia. Também não temos um antídoto ou fórmula para a cura. Eu descobri. Junto com os meus amigos, a única pista para salvar o mundo da doença do medo. A máquina que meu pai inventou para entender a língua dos pássaros. Tivemos alguns casos aqui na escola e por isso decidimos cancelar as aulas. Todo cuidado é pouco agora. Um garoto não tem medo. Você é muito corajosa, Sara. Hum, eu sei. Vai rápido! Uma máquina igual do seu pai Colocar todo mundo em risco Minha brigada de pânico Vem, Sara That was a great preview. I want to see that, you know, <laughs> Tito and the Birds. Well, it is, uh, yes. I mean, it's the, the artistry is amazing. It's a, it's a combination of cells and um, uh, oil paintings. It's really, okay. it's really uh, a spectacular movie, and it's sort of a movie for our time where fear is gripping society, and this is, uh, it, it, it's the fear causes a virus, and this little boy just mm -hmm. learns or um, tries to find the cure for it, and he finds it in bird song. That's why it's called Tito and the Birds. Oh, okay. Yes. So we'll look for that Tito and the Birds. That's Saturday, January 19th. And now we're going to take a look at and talk a little bit about a couple of movies on Saturday afternoon, Zooks and Rosie and Musa. Right. And they are from what country? Belgium. Okay. But, but ironically, they're in Dutch. Okay. Which is... They're, so they're, it's subtitled. It's subtitled, yeah. right. And okay. oh, one important thing is uh, any film that's subtitled, we will have someone reading the subtitles 
allowed via headphones so oh, that it really? won't distract. Yeah, so for, oh, that's great. for kids who great. can't read subtitles or for mm -hmm. kids who have problems with reading or even people who can't see at all who are blind, and we'll get to that soon, um, you will be able to follow what's happening in the film. Okay. Uh, so that's coming up on Saturday. I think we have some trailers of both of those. So why don't we take a look at a uh, preview of Zooks and Rosie and Musa right now. Ik weet hoe kwaad jullie nu allemaal zijn op die verdomde natuur die jullie geliefde koning, mijn eigen broer, heeft afgenomen. Hierbij richt ik dan ook het BNC op. Het Bureau voor Natuurcontrole. Er valt geen tijd te verliezen. Ferdinand zal op het jubileum alle natuur vernietigen. Het hele woud. Wat nu? Ik heb een idee. Robin Waterman. Zoals u, hè? Heeft de Koningsgraag. Onze enige hoop is die jongen. Wat doet je daar? Je weet toch dat je niet woud mocht komen? Als je die jongen niet kunt pakken, pak dat meisje dan. Ik wil weten wie je bent. Ik ook. Al heel mijn leven wil ik daar. Is dat niet de dochter van mevrouw uh, Valkeneers? Nee. Valkeneers? Nee, mevrouw Waterman. Daar. Valkeneers. Maar zeg dat dan. Ik zeg het toch. Zullen we? Zullen we wat? Naar binnen gaan. Ik ben Moussa. En ik ben Rosie. Waar is je vader? Mama, waar is hij? Hij is vertrokken en hij komt niet meer terug. Wallah, hij zit diep in de merk. Hij heeft gevraagd of ik hem kan bezoeken. Als je wilt, dan kom ik met jou mee. Op de trap moet je helemaal geen ticketje kopen. En de kans dat ze je pakken op de trap is 1 op 1000. Er zitten helemaal geen 1000 mensen op de trap. Het is een fout voor mijn zoon, een fout voor mijn ex. Ik zit in beek en mannen weten niks. Bekant, bekant, A08, chic. Rijden doen die zaken die je niet doet en niet ziet. Soms zou ik willen dat een van die trein mij zou meenemen. Ik zou reizen naar de andere kant van de wereld. Tada! Zullen we een keer de wereld spelen? Carina, ik heb geen zin in. Zone Playa y la vida. Mijn kamer is rap boven die van nu. Ik voor zo'n set in mijn kamer, dan kom ik direct bij jou uit. Je kunt ook gewoon komen kloppen. Kloppen kan ook. And we're back here in the special edition of Belmont Journal with Ellen Gittleman from the Belmont World Film Family Festival. Um, we were looking at a preview of Zooks, and you wanted to say something about that that movie. Right, right. So sort of, uh, it's it's the Belgian answer to anime. It's a okay. it's a completely animated film, and it has a almost a look and feel of, of an anime film, but it's but it's has a Belgian sensibility, hmm. and it's, uh, it's a good follow up to Tito and the Birds because it's about a society where nature has been abolished. Basically, nothing natural wow. can exist, and so this is a story of of uh, one mm -hmm. girl's fight to preserve nature, to keep that's nature, it. yes. So inspiring, yeah. perhaps. Uh, so that's at 1.45 on Saturday, January 19th, Zooks. Um, and let's skip ahead here to Sunday. Um, we you have a couple of live events going on, or one live event, um, or two. So one, one live event on okay. Sunday. And right. that's on Sunday morning. Uh, what's that? Tell us about that. So that is a, probably our most, 
maybe one of two most popular events. It's WBUR's podcast Circle Round, and it features animated, uh, not animated versions, it features um, folk tales from around the world performed live with music and actors. And oh, wow. we're, we have the privilege of showing, of actually having um, one story that's never been podcast before. So it's like a sneak preview. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. it's not, never been seen. And these are all original stories. They're based on stories that maybe you know, but they've been modified. And So, so as an audience member, what am I, tell me what I'm going to be seeing when I go to that. It's going to be a podcast, but they'll, they'll be performing Well, no, it's them? not no. a podcast. It's okay. a live version of the podcast. Okay, so it's I an, see. It's, like right. a, it's almost like theater, except that okay. it's almost like having a story read to you. All right. There'll be six actors. There's a musician. Um, there's sound effects. Uh, so sort of like an old radio show would have been done. You see the performance. You exactly, see the, okay. exactly. Yeah, That's great. yeah, yeah. So huh. it's really, and then the right. actors are going to sign autographs. They'll give out coloring sheets, All and right. um, they'll be. You can buy WBUR coloring books, or um, there's going to be a lot of. Uh, you can buy WBUR paraphernalia if you'd like, and then um, and there'll be an autograph signing, and, uh, and, then and it will the sell out. So if you're if you're okay. hesitating, if you're hesitating. I highly recommend buying uh, tickets. Sounds like it. In so advance. It's, it sold I, out last year. Again, for it's the, we're talking about the Family Film Festival, so great for kids, great for families, right. kids ages four through ten, something like that. For yes. This. And then right after that, you have a uh, oh another our presentation by with Mo Willems. Right, laugh out loud with Mo Willems. Another, another. Um, one that sold out last year. So if you okay. think, don't hesitate to buy your tickets. Um, so Mo Willems is probably, well, at least my favorite children's book author at the, at the moment. Mm -hmm. And he's written Knuffle Bunny, Knuffle, it's pronounced Knuffle, uh, because he's <laughs> Dutch. Mo Willems is Dutch. Okay. And the whole, right. Velma World Film, our, yep. our whole um, reason, raison d'etre, is we show films from around the world. the world. Right. Yeah, sure. so he's, he's actually American, but he's Dutch. And Knuffle Bunny, there is one Okay. episode where he goes to the Netherlands. Okay, so that's uh, Mo Willems. That's going to be coming, or Mo Villems, probably. Mo, maybe Mo Willems. Yeah, I think yeah, that's maybe. probably Okay, yeah. We'll but he, find Mo out. Mo Willems. And he actually uh, recorded a spot f for us, and it's very funny. Oh, so oh yeah, we, people can see that on Belmont Journal. Post. And it's on our website. It's on our website, on website? and it's, it's okay. on our Facebook page. And okay. you can access it on our YouTube channel. You can access it however you want. 24-7, you can see the preview about right. Mo Villains. You can watch it over and over and over again. Okay. It's, it's and that you, and funny. And you have, probably, right? I have. Okay, it's that right. funny. <laughs> but actually, one of the programs he does is... Um, in, uh, Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs, and it is so funny. I actually have tears streaming down my face. Uh, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. It's, to, I, and every time I'll I watch it, I laugh that. hysterically. Okay. So it's now, just as much now, fun for the parents see, as it is for the kids. To see that, you're going to see that at this... At Laugh Out Loud with Mo Willems. At Laugh Out Loud. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, and then it's, it's, yeah, we have Nuff, Knuffle Bunny. It's, it's a classic. Um, and Le then Leonardo, the Terrible Monster. Right. Goldilocks, as, we done, as you said. Array for Array for Amanda and her alligator. Okay. Yes, yes. So that's Sunday... Now let's move ahead to uh, films in the afternoon. The first one we want to talk about and uh, see. Let, let's go ahead and take a look at the preview now for a film called Chuskit. Jean 
Namina Quest Peracha Dulano. Tanya Speradul Gus. Naja Mokun Yamposcula Changinda. Cocoran Yan can just be let you and your pa, dear Juamido. How am I? Dorjeran is even Masamano. Rang Chuskid non Tox, Rangel Chandu. <laughs> okay, that was a trailer for the film Chuskit, which is uh, part of a selection of three films. Uh, you want to talk, tell us a little bit about the, these three on Sunday afternoon. Right, so the, uh, the films are part of a program that is co-presented by the Real Abilities Film Festival of Boston. And what's that about? And, what are and they? Oh, they're about children with disabilities okay. who who actually go beyond their disabilities to have uh, to achieve things that or so even overcome the, yeah to even overcome come them but also but also to be comfortable with them and to mm -hmm. be uh, part of you know, be accepted for who they are so Chuskit is one it takes place in India it's, and uh, it's actually based on a true story two of the films are based on on true stories of course modified for Okay. Yeah, for the for and then the you screen. have two other films following it: The Witch Hunters from and Serbia. Ballad from Tibet. Yeah, from China and Tibet. From China, right. excuse me. And yeah. that Ballad from Tibet is a pretty cool film. And we mm -hmm. we've test when we test it, people say, "Oh, you have to show this film." Oh, okay. It's, yeah, and it's really it's it's amazing. It's about uh, some children at a school for the blind in Tibet, and they want to sing on a reality TV show, kind of like an American Idol, All right. or, or like okay. a. Uh, more like America's Got Talent, right. and um, so they they escape under the cloak of night, and only one of the one of the children ha has partial eyesight and one eye, but he's about to lose his eyesight. So he kind of leads them, except that they get caught, mm -hmm. and so they and they don't want to get caught. So they instead of taking a bus, they walk across wow. Tibet and China, and then they get picked up and they. Well, you have okay. to see the movie to see what happens. All right, well, but it's let, let's take this. a look. We have a preview of that, right? Okay. okay, let's take a look at a preview of the upcoming film, Ballad from Tibet. All right, uh, we're back here with the uh, special edition of Belmont Journal, focusing on the Family Film Festival, uh, which is taking place across three theaters between Belmont and Arlington, and includes Cambridge. Um, it is going to be during Martin Luther King weekend, uh, and on Monday, January 21st, 
you're showing a series of films honoring doc Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, sure. We have a, this is one of, another one of our very popular programs. It's a way to introduce children to the life of Dr. Okay. King in a very child-friendly way. And appropriate on this weekend, yeah. Yeah, right, very appropriate. And it's very popular and we have, uh, we have people from all walks of life who come to this program, which is really great. I think it's, it honors Dr. King. Um, and uh, there's one about him, there's one about his sister. Um, there's, uh, Looks and, like and there's a new one that you had mentioned uh, produced right. by Chelsea Clinton, right? Right, by Chelsea called She Persisted. It's about 13 women, most of whom are African American. Um, and uh, uh, it details their lives and it's a good introduction for children as well. All right. Yeah. So we'll look for that. Uh, on that's 10:30 at the Brattle Theater on January 21st. Uh, in the afternoon, we have some films coming up. Um, we can talk a little bit about some of those as well. Anything? The Highway Rat. That's from. That's an English film. That's right. It's a. Okay. It's a. It's the, every Christmas the. Um, uh, the BBC airs an animated film from a company called Magic Light Pictures, and they do, oh, okay. yeah, and they mm. record um, with very famous British actors. And The Highway uh. Rat has everyone's favorite Doctor Who, David Tennant, and Rob Bryden, comedian Rob Bryden, who's been in um, films. If you've seen the trip to it to England, the trip to Italy, and the trip to Spain, okay. hilarious actor. He does a mean Michael Caine and oh, all right. and an incredible. <laughs> Um, uh, Mick Jagger okay. invitation. He's really hysterical. But anyway, so this we're going showing that with a another film that they did, which is very classic called The Gruffalo, and it's it's for younger kids, but it's a little it has some scary parts. So I wouldn't okay. recommend if your child doesn't like scary scary okay. things. I wouldn't recommend it. But it's not too scary All because right. it's animated. But um, and it's about you know it's about people who about animals, so it's not about people. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so the animals. But, it, you know, animals can be mean, too. And I think we have a preview or a trailer for the film The Highway Rat, so let's... It's uh, never been seen, shown in the United States. I think we're the first to show it. It's oh, going to be shown right? in New okay. York right afterward. Okay, let's yeah. take a look at The Highway Rat. The highway rat was a baddie. The highway rat was a beast. He took what he wanted and ate what he took. His life was one long feast. His teeth were sharp and yellow. His manners were rough and rude. Oh. <laughs> and the highway rat went riding, riding, riding. Riding along the highway <laughs> and stealing the traveler's food. And we're back with Belmont Journal Special Edition with Ellen Gittleman talking about the Family Film Festival. Uh, now we're up to Monday afternoon. A uh, film that we're going to be talking about and seeing a preview for is Jim Button and Luke the Engine Driver. But all of this doesn't get done by itself, this film festival. There are some important sponsors. You want to mention a couple of them? Sure, sure. Well, uh, I'm happy to say that we have been supported for many years running by the Mass Cultural Council with two generous grants, and we're awaiting word from a few other uh, right. from a few other local cultural councils mm -hmm. that are part of the Mass Cultural Council, but also the Gravistar Foundation, mm -hmm. and actually the Cultural Office of the Consulate General of China okay. is, a, is a sponsor, but our presenting sponsor is Jackson Walnut Park School. And um, it's a school that I very much like 
We are. It's made up of a lot of international schools. Oh, where and is students. that, by the yeah. way? Yeah. They're well, in uh, Newton. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Mm -hmm. so and we have really a lot of other sponsors. a lot of um, international flavor to this and educational right. resources to, to help put this festival on. So yes. Really, yes. Yeah, so it's very, mean, we work with a lot of consulates. We're yeah. working with the Brazilian consulate, the Serbian consulate, oh. the, um, the Belgian consulate. Actually, Belgium has two consulates, as it were. We have the Belgian consulate for the French-speaking side, okay. and then there's the Flanders House for the okay. Fl Flemish-Dutch-speaking side. That's so, great. Yeah, so we're That's working great. with both, and um, and even the French consulate's helping mm -hmm. out a little bit. Well, I can see that anybody that's been around, uh, watched uh, your festival grow, it's really has expanded and uh, encompasses a lot of culture and a lot of nations, really. Right. Which it should. That's what you, yeah. That's right. The it's, it can only so. lead to understanding. Yeah. We, we've actually seen it in action where... I, where people have watched a film and and they never really understood right. a country before they never understood a practice or and and it's changed people's minds about I know I I uh, I studied movies in film in, in college right and before that I was always interested in film and I'm, I just assumed that everybody watched subtitled movies because uh, I enjoyed so many of them yeah. when I was a kid and growing up and I realized it isn't something that is pushed as much but I think that when you look at films in general, there's so much out there that people are missing by not just trying and getting the You can really follow the action. You can follow the emotion of any movie, really. Right, yeah. and, and part of the reason why we have the Family Festival is because films from other countries tend to rely more on storytelling than right. the special effects right. or, you know, and they're the aware smoke that and they're, mirrors. You know, they may, they may be, you may be producing a film in Belgium or China, but you're thinking about the audience who's going to see it beyond that. Right, right. Yeah. And there's very few yeah. special effects, which right. doesn't mean they're boring. Right. But they might do special effects, but it's not CGI. It's yeah. it's a special effect that really wows you, you know. And um, uh, with the one in uh, the film in the, in the afternoon on Monday is actually mm -hmm. one such example. They, no CGI was used, but which one it's is pretty that magical. Now? It's called Jim Button okay. and Luke the Engine Driver. Okay, yeah, we did. And it's we from Germany. And it's, um, it's about. Uh, a little boy who washes up on shore to a very tiny island, and the four inhabitants of the island adopt him. And he's, oh. he's uh, well, he's Ger he speaks German, but he's he's actually African American or okay. black. He's actually black, and uh, but they adopt him. And uh, you know, mm. it's sort of pars it's an example of you know you don't we're all one family, and you don't have to be family. To, you don't have to be have the, the same, same blood yeah. to be family, mm -hmm. but they have this magical train named Emma, and Emma can travel even in the desert. And, <laughs> and there's all sorts of very, really wow. amazing, magical special effects that are all done with a camera, not with a CGI. So now, let me ask you a question. I know we're running out of time. Have you seen all these movies? I haven't seen all of them. but you Of course like I have. You, you have? Okay. Of course I have. Well, that's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't have thought you would have seen all of them. But, well, I have to, I have, we have to vet them. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. All our I films are vetted. I didn't know that. I yeah, wouldn't have known that. We yeah. have to vet every single one of our films. Oh, okay. And that's what maybe that's differentiate, differentiates us from, from, say, a film festival where, mm -hmm. and that's not true because all film festivals vet, have to watch the yeah. film. But we cherry pick our films. Right. We really, we really right. curate them. Yeah. And, um, so so yeah, there's some care given to the selection and, and, and some variety. So that's let, right. let's, before we run out of time, let's take a quick look at Jim Button and Luke the Engine Driver. Ich würde ihn Jim nennen. Lummerland ist vielleicht klein, aber es hat dieselben Probleme wie überall sonst. Wir müssen Emma abschaffen. Niemals! Wir fahren weg. Und ich komme mit! Das könnte gefährlich werden. Das macht nichts. Ich pass schon auf dich auf. Halt dich gut fest! Das muss Mandala sein. Wir sind zwei ausländische Lokomotivführer und würden gerne den Kaiser sprechen. Folgt mir! Was meinst du, Jim? Sollen wir ihm folgen? Wo oh, er uns so nett gefragt hat, klar. Hm. Prinzessin Lisi. Ich wurde von der Weden 13 entführt. Jemand muss doch die Prinzessin retten. Geh mal dich fest! Lukas, ich will euch nichts tun. Ich 
scheiße Turtu. Ich bin ein Scheinriese. Was bringst du uns da? 100-jährige Eier auf Salat aus Eichhörnchenohren. Ein richtiger Drache muss ganz schrecklich und fürchterlich sein. Ungefähr so. Ja. Aufhören, du machst einem ja Angst. Echt? Wer bist du? Ich bin Jim Knopf und ich bin hier, um Prinzessin Lissi zu retten. Back now with Ellen Gittleman uh, with the Family Film Festival from Belmont World Film. And the closing film of the whole weekend is something called Crossroads. It's going to have its Massachusetts premiere. Do you want to talk a little bit about that movie? Sure, sure. So this was a really, um, I know people are tired of inspiration, but it's, it's a pretty inspirational film. Uh, it's about a charter school in North Carolina and the, the uh, sports director decides that he wants to start a lacrosse team. Okay. And some of the students, there are a lot of low-income mm -hmm. African-American students at the school, and um, he suggests that these students become lacrosse players. Well, to them, oh. lacrosse is a white, it's a white, right? but it's actually not. Yeah. It started in Africa. Yeah. But it is, yeah. uh, to them, it was a white person's um, sport. And they did, they formed a team, and they found a coach, a former op ophthalmologist, mm. and he was looking for something to, oh. do, to do. His wife actually volunteered him. And um, so he, is, this is a documentary. Okay, it's a documentary. I didn't pick up on that right away, but yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> yeah. It's so that that's it's a true story. Yes. I think we have a clip from Crossroads. Right, right. So let's take a look at that now, and we'll be right back. Oh, please. <laughs> What did you freaking win? Two years in. Kevin was born crack addicted. You guys know what pancreatic cancer is? He has stage four. It's no drug. Going through this stage of life, you want to look at your dad in that stance. And he wasn't there to do that, so that left a hole in my heart. I'm so proud of you guys. The little guy really can rise and fight against the big guy. We gave everything we got. We don't walk off this field, we crawl. He saved me. He's the first person to show me love. Be good to me. All right, so we're back here. Uh, and to wrap up our special coverage of the Belmont World Film Family Film Festival, I'm here with Ellen Gittleman. Um, and we just saw a preview of Crossroads. Is there anything else you want to tell us about? I know there's a lot of stuff you want to talk about. We could talk about this for another 30 minutes, but or let's for go four over days, some because it's four a four-day day festival. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, right. Anything else you want to tell people about the film festival? Well, so after Crossroads, we're very excited to have the, not just the director, but the coach of the lacrosse team and okay. one of the players. And uh, there will be a discussion. Of, pretty lengthy discussion. Um, so it's great for lacrosse players. Um, with It's going to be moderated by Shira Springer, who is okay. the sports reporter for WBUR, which is one of our media sponsors. All right. And um, uh, so, yeah, so that should be a great way to wrap up. Uh, I actually attended another festival where I saw them speak and people wouldn't let them leave. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, because it was, yeah, yeah. it really well, it is. It sounds like a great story. And it it's is a true a, story, so. It's a know. phenomenal story. Yeah. It's really a phenomenal story. So I think that's why probably people also uh, are uh, inclined to look more at documentaries now more than ever because people are looking for, I don't want to say truth, but they want to look at a real story that doesn't, let's say, involve special effects or something right you know, and you can't, like you, you can't you can't make, get that anywhere else yeah right. you can't make this stuff up right. and it's just right. more thrilling and, inter so. and interesting so well it looks like you made some good selections here thanks what thanks. else we do we what else do you want people to remember about the film festival well we should know we're always looking for volunteers okay. so um they can get in touch with our uh, volunteer coordinator or they can just email us at info at belmont world film if they're interested but we do have some um girl scouts who are volunteers this year and not only will they be ushering at a lot of our films, but they're going to be selling Girl Scout cookies. Oh, really? Yes, yes. So, so there's a good reason to go to the film festival, Girl Scout cookies, right? <laughs> right, and right. So forget great, the popcorn. Go right to the Girl Scout. Got a great Thanks brochure. Thanks a lot. You can pick this up um, 
the Everywhere. library and the studio cinema and um, there's the restaurants around town. Okay. You can just look for it. Just look for it around town. Uh, you can be, you'll be able to find it. Anything and, else? And on our website too, www.belmontworldfilm.org. Okay. okay. And um, we're looking forward to having people come. We do offer discounted tickets to people who have EBT or WIC cards. Okay. We offer half price tickets. Mm -hmm. Members of the military are free. Mm -hmm. And uh, people can buy a festival pass for just $50. That gets them admission into every single program. That's okay. really good value. Great. Yeah, especially our live events are $12 each. So that's, that's a good two, deal. $24 right there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we've been here. You've been watching a special edition of Belmont Journal. Uh, and we've been talking about the Family Film Festival for 2018, which runs... What are the dates again? January 18th through the 21st in okay. Arlington, Belmont, and Cambridge. Just remember ABC. ABC. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for being here, Ellen. Well, thank you for having Good me, Jeff. You it was on. really, really great talking to you. And great. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the festival. All right. That's it. Uh, we'll tune in again next time. Yeah.